Oh, cool, a fossil. Dear Tim and Moby, why do scientists name time periods like Jurassic and Precambrian? From Lila. Well, kind of to keep track of things. The planet Earth is extremely old, about 4.6 billion years. Lots of changes have happened over that time. Oceans have formed, continents have moved, mountains have risen, animals have evolved, and gone extinct. To organize major changes, scientists have broken the Earth's timeline into sections lasting millions of years. This is called the geologic timescale. No, instead of millennia, centuries, and years, the geologic timescale is broken up into eons, eras, periods, and epochs. The Earth has had four eons, each lasting hundreds of millions to billions of years. Each of these eons is broken up into two or more eras, which are broken into periods, which are broken into epochs. All these units are of relative length, so they have no set number of years. The actual length of each unit depends on what geologic changes occurred in it. Like, one eon could contain a single era that's longer than another. For example, the Devonian period, when amphibians first evolved, lasted about 50 to 55 million years, while the Silurian period, which saw the first jawed fish, lasted fewer than 30 million years. Th those names may sound confusing, but they usually have a pretty simple explanation. The Devonian period, for example, is named after Devon, England, where rock layers from that time were first studied. The basis for the entire timeline is a branch of geology called stratigraphy. That's a study of rock layers and the fossils contained inside them. According to stratigraphy, a rock layer, or stratum, is probably older than the layers above it, and younger than the layers below it. So, by studying the different layers, scientists can get a good idea of how animals evolved and how the rock composition of an area has changed over time. Right, and they can also put everything into an order. Stratigraphy isn't perfect, though. Over millions of years, rock can break, bend, erode, and shift. To get a more complete picture of the conditions on our planet, scientists compare the strata from one area of the Earth to another. They also employ radiometric dating, which uses radioactive isotopes to date objects. As opposed to the geologic timeline's relative dates, radiometric dating gives an absolute date. Right now? We're living in the Holocene Epoch of the Quaternary Period of the Cenozoic Era of the Phanerozoic Eon. Hey, look at that! Weird. Oh, I am not interested in that painting. <laughs>